There are two types of single mothers. One of those single mothers is a gift to mankind and the other is a punishment to anybody who's ever walked in her path. If you meet a single mother and she is co-parenting effectively, is really happy for the children to spend time with her previous partner or a previous partner's family and she seems to be really effective at communicating, she's got good boundaries with her previous partner, then this woman is a gem. She's given you a preview of what kind of emotionally stable person person she is. She's shown you if shit hits the fan and if one day you two break up, she can still compartmentalize her feelings and do what's best for the children. So she's a huge green flag. The other type of single mother is narcissistic, judgmental. She will make your life and her children's life a slow suicide day by day by putting her needs first. If you meet a single mother and her first sentence is, my ex was a narcissist, my ex was abusive, my ex, my ex, my ex, and she talks about how terrible he was this is a huge red flag she's showing you that she doesn't have good vetting process when it comes to romantic relationships if you can lay in bed and have children with a man that you consider abusive and you're saying there was no red flags before it all happened afterwards this person is blind she goes into dating blind she goes into relationships blind it shows that she could put her children in danger again because that mother didn't reflect on her selection process and completely blamed the ex the second red flag of a narcissistic single mother she doesn't allow the ex-husband to access the children or she makes it incredibly difficult. She'll either get court courts involved, she'll move the children far away, she will not allow children to go to the grandparents' house. She makes life difficult for that father that's trying to see the child. Some of these single moms are, in, are a bit delusional and they'll say, oh, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to. And when you dig deeper, you realize that he does want to. She made it so difficult in the beginning that he eventually gives up. Knowing full well that children need two parents, she doesn't care about that. She puts her ego first. She might be great to you now. She might be loving and kind and just say, oh, he was awful. I'm just protecting my children from abuse. But she's giving you an insight into what would happen if you two have children and you annoy her. Most mothers who block access to a child's father, they go on to do it again.